Simply Ming is brought to you by Ocean Spray, Wanja Sha, T Fall, Subaru of New England, and Melissa's World Variety Produce. I'm here with Robert Cervantes, who's the sommelier at 2 a.m. dessert bar here in Singapore. Robert, it's good to see you again. Yeah, I'd like to see you. Good to see Robert's you in Singapore. from Chicago, yeah, and then you opened up this fantastic restaurant with Janice Wong. Uh, but not only so many, you, you're the mixologist, right? You make tasty cocktails here? A little bit of both. Excellent. Yeah, so it looks like uh, the flavors of Singapore. What what cocktail is this you're going to make? What's it called? Um, I guess I just, uh, I really like playing around with the, like we went to the to the farm today. Right. Correct? So you got a lot of fresh things. Uh, something we got from the farm is lemongrass. So right. we got a little bit of lemongrass and right. we got a little bit of basil. All right. uh, two items that are very common here in Southeast Asia. Yep. So um, I don't know. I'm going to, I don't, I'm going to, let's taste it and then we'll just And then, then put a name yeah, on it? Yeah, okay. yeah, We'll call it Janice Wong. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Perhaps. All right. All what right. Do we do? So first step, uh, you want to cut all the ingredients, have them all, have your mise en place out. Yep. I like uh, working with this um, with this uh, lemongrass. Yep. The flavor is really, really nice. It reminds me kind of a Fruit Loops. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> okay. right. So uh, basically, I take it and muddle it a bit. All right. Okay. And just gonna bring out the the flavor of the lemongrass. All right. So after that's done, you I don't know. You can do this for a few minutes at least. Right. Uh, I, Few, a few, a few, a uh, few leaves, and do the same thing. Just do a little Excellent. bit of. Uh, and it's important to know that lemongrass is so common in soups here. You can put them in rice to infuse it, um, and obviously we can put it in a cocktail. Well, I got the idea because the other day a girl asked me for a tum yum cocktail. Oh, really? And uh, I had tons of lemongrass. I was like, yeah, I'll make this. So this is where this idea cool. comes from. Um, what is that? That's this really is really kinda... interesting stuff. Uh, this is called gula malaka. Okay. And gula malaka is uh, it's from Malaysia. It comes the name Malaka, which comes from the city of Malacca, which is in uh, in Malaysia, uh, about two hours from here. Right. And it's uh, palm sugar. It's delicious. Yeah. Basically, it's from the coconut tree. So right. they just kind of whack the tree and then. It's kinda, I love the texture. Yeah, the texture it, it dissolves it has great. kind of like a spiciness. Too. Yeah, yeah. So do the same Deep. thing. Just is that that's the natural color? Yeah, natural color. Wow, Everything it's about dark. It. Love it. Uh, not too much. Yeah, right. I think I put a little bit too much, but it's okay. If you like it sweet, then right. I think it's okay. So again, just muddle it a little bit in, and then I like adding just a little bit of acidity to the right. cocktail. So these are awesome. These are. Uh, Calamansi. Calamansi limes. And they're really juicy. They're really, really nice. So I'm just going to cut the tip of it off and then squeeze the juice into it. I love like this that. stuff. With the seeds and everything. It's just so tart, but tart, orangey and limey. Orangey. And, yeah. So different. Huh? So good. Yeah. yeah. So different. Mm. And so I tried finding limes. Limes are really hard to find here. So really? the easiest thing yeah, is. But why need a lime when you have this? Exactly. I mean, I think it's, it's an exotic lime. Exactly. And uh, then I'm going to add a little bit of English gin. Um, I like gin. It has a little bit more complexities than vodka does, and um, it just makes the it just makes the the flavor last a yep. bit longer. Interesting. So I don't know, maybe about three ounces. Maybe two cocktails. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. be nice to drink with someone. Yeah, sure. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Let's do a little bit more. Yeah, we are two big people. Yeah, we there, are Robert. two big people. Love it. All right. I'm used to drinking in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So a little bit, a little more muddle, right. just to get all the flavors in there. And something that people kind of, I don't know how they feel comfortable or not with it, but egg white. So I'm gonna put a little bit of egg white, and the reason I put egg white in is it just give it a little bit of frothiness. Right. All right. I like them in drinks. I mean, I, I like the texture it provides. You know, in, in, in the states, you use pasteurized egg white. Right? I don't think it's single is an issue with chickens at all. Not, no, not at all. Not at all. No. Not to be uh, an issue with chickens in the States, mind you. But, sorry about that. but if you want to be safe, pasteurized, I always say you're going to get hit by lightning or eaten by a shark before, uh, before, you, get, and yeah. before you get food poisoning from exactly. an egg. So I just topped it up with ice? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Anything I can do? Um, hey, yeah, you can actually take a little bit of that cut ginger okay. and rim the glass with it. Oh, awesome. I've actually added to the garnish a sprig of lemongrass and a bit of calamansi. What a great idea. So then every, no matter what you, any part of the glass you drink, you're going to hit a ginger in your mouth. Exactly. Love that idea. And for added acidity to the cocktail, you can just squeeze the... Squeeze extra calamansi. So nice and muddled. If anything gets in through it, it's okay. I like contrasting, again, like with Janice, how the whole nature right. uh, aspect of the cocktail, uh, it's dark. 
it's earthy. And with the green, you add a little bit of color. I love it. It looks great. And it's great, like you said, the foam, the foam on top. Yeah, it's a little bit of foam. And I like livening up my cocktails. Right. So I liven up with a little bit of kava. Nice. Just yeah, the little, old mojito thing with club soda, but here. Yeah, just a little bit of flavor. There. Just a little bit there. All right, my friend. There you go. Cheers to you. Thank you. 2 a.m. dessert bar. Yeah, welcome to Singapore. Wow. That's pretty good. Dude, if Janice ever gets rid of you, let me know, right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> hey, Robert, thanks Thank a Thank you very much. As always, peace and good eating. Simply Ming has been brought to you by Ocean Spray. Default, Subaru of New England, Melissa's World Variety Produce, and Juan Jashan. Watch Simply Ming on your public television station.